Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today, the question is, do diamond painting tweezers give better results than diamond painting pens? And this little guy is going to give us the answer. So some people may recognize this little guy. Um, I did an unbagging, I think it was, um, from Gems Flow uh, quite a while back. And a lot of people know of Gems Flow because of the app. It is a diamond painting app where you can keep track of your diamond paintings, what you have in your collection, when you ordered it, when you received it, when you started it, when you finished it, if you gifted it. Um, you can put notes and things, uh, it's a very, very uh, useful app. But they also have a store, um, but I don't think many people actually use it. So I decided a while back to actually buy uh, a diamond painting from Gems Flow, do an unbagging and just see what we get. So I did that a while back, I will put a link in the description for anybody that may want to watch it. Then I decided to use this diamond painting to show how I start a square drill diamond painting using a diamond painting pen. I will put a link to that one as well. While I was doing this, I was using a pen that was all I was using, pen, 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 all the time, single placing. Um, I don't use multi-placers, so everything has been single placed. And I got so far and then I had an idea and I thought, what if I do some of this with tweezers and we can compare it? Does, is there a difference? Can we see a difference if someone has used a pen to do a diamond painting or if someone has used tweezers? So I thought, okay, the easy way for me to do that, to remember where I used the tweezers, was I did all of the diamond painting with the pen except for the eyes. I left the eyes and I did them with tweezers. So the first thing is how does it look? Um, looks absolutely fine. Um, you saw it on the wall behind me, nothing wrong with it at all. But the question is are the drills better placed in the eyes because I use tweezers or does it not really make a difference if you use tweezers or a pen? So this is us looking relatively close. Uh, we are about maybe a foot and a half away. Um, so what's that, 45 centimetres roughly. Um, so we're pretty close and I still think it looks okay. But the big test is when we switch the light pad on. Anybody who uses a light pad will know when you're doing square drills, you see every single little tiny gap, every single twisty drill, everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch the light pad on and we can have a look um, to see the difference. So no light pad, light pad. And I've just noticed I missed a drill. Um, I'll point it out, yeah, so I'll need to find that. And yeah, put a drill back in. Um, so this is it from roughly a foot and a half away. So you can see the difference immediately. Suddenly you see all these marks. That's the light shining through all the gaps and the squares. And again, if I switch it back off, they just disappear. So what I want to do is get up close and personal with Mr. Owl. Okay, so we are now about a foot away, maybe a bit less, roughly 30 centimetres from the canvas. Very close. Um, you wouldn't be looking at a diamond painting this close, really, if you wanted to really see the whole picture. So we're very close. We have the light pad off, so things don't look too bad. And as I said, the eye all of this yellow and orange part, including the black edge, um, was done with tweezers. 
all this area here was done with a pen so hard to tell it's maybe a bit easier to see the gaps because of the bright colours the darker colour of the gap sort of shows up a bit more whereas if you're looking at the browns and the, the dark greys and things I don't think it's quite um, as obvious uh, that the gaps are there you definitely see little gaps here um, but I want to turn the light pad on again just to show uh, what the real uh, picture is so light pad on and there's gaps everywhere <clears throat> so you can see um, here again this this was tweezers um, the thing is when you use a light pad and you see oh yeah there's a kind of obvious gap there you can tweak the drills maybe space them slightly to try and uh, even things out but to be honest um, it's a waste of time there's no need to do that um, when you saw the picture on the wall it looks absolutely fine we are getting really really critical looking at these gaps because you have to remember the squares are only two and a half millimeters across and we are looking at an absolute fraction of two and a half millimeters from 30 centimeters away with a light pad on in the background which you won't have on the wall so for me um looking at this and i haven't tested this before i did this video i just thought that was the idea and i thought i'm not going to look at anything until i'm actually doing the video that way i have no preconception of anything if i had done that i would have noticed that i missed a drill and i would have fixed it i'll do that later but again i didn't notice that when it was on the wall um and that's a whole square that's missing so when you're diamond painting and you're using a light pad don't get hung up on the gaps um, because they're uneven they are inside the square where they should be they will look absolutely fine so <coughs> for me at least there isn't a difference between using a pen or tweezers on a diamond painting the gaps will still be there tweezers don't fix the gaps um, it may be easier to tweak if you like just sometimes you see certain things like that little line there there's a little white line because the gaps are even um, you can push these around to get them a bit more so the gap goes all the way around the drill type thing um, absolutely wasting your time doing it I know it's, it's, it's hard to not do it I mean I sit and push and tweak things when I'm working on them but at the end of the day once your diamond painting is complete and it's hung on the wall you will not see them um, if I switch the light pad off that is from in fact to be really geekish I'm actually going to measure how far away the camera is from this and it will be in centimetres um, so the camera is 18 and a half centimetres away from the canvas and if you work in inches you, you'll have to uh, convert that but as I said nobody is really going to be looking at a picture this close you want to see the whole thing so you have to stand back and uh, i'll take the camera back again we can have a look at it again from a distance at the end i'll have it in the background and you can see that it looks absolutely fine so i'll just step the camera back and we can have a look again so there we are we are further back uh, still not back far enough to see the whole picture but i think you can see that looking at it it looks absolutely fine um, as i said there is a missing drill i doubt if you can see that but if i switch the uh, light pad on again you will see it
maybe. It's there. So this is another advantage of the light pad, even though it shows up all these little gaps and you think, oh, it should be straight. Um, if you happen to miss a square, which I did, um, it really stands out. This one is in a light area, so it doesn't stand out quite as much. If this had been a dark area like up here, it would be more obvious. But light pads are very handy for that sort of thing. Um, when you finish a diamond painting, you could just uh, slide over the light pad, which obviously I didn't do. Um, this may have fallen off when I was uh, setting up the magnetic frame. I'm pretty sure I didn't miss it, but um, maybe I hadn't rolled it down and pressed it in properly. These things happen. But it hasn't affected the picture. That's the main thing. Even having the whole drill missing, um, you, you won't notice it. After saying that, I will fix it. So that's it. Um, I was just curious. I thought if I do uh, using the pen for all of it, except the eyes, and then we can have a look how it all compares when it's finished. It really doesn't make a difference uh, to the end result. I think uh, Mr. Owl still looks really cool. Um, obviously had too much coffee. But yeah, this was a fun one. I enjoyed doing it. And uh, that is it. So that was the answer from Mr. Owl. Which is better, tweezers or a pen? When it comes to the end result, they're equal. So there he is, Mr. Owl back on his perch. So the question was, do tweezers give better results than diamond painting pens um, when the canvas is completed? And the answer, I would say, um, from what we saw there, is no. Uh, the gaps are just the same. Um, the unevenness is the same. Um, really doesn't make any difference. But I would say there are definite advantages to using tweezers and definite advantages to using pens. And I will do a video uh, talking about that at some point in the future. So I just wanted to mention that the tweezers that I used in this one, in fact I'll talk about the pen because that is how this one started. Someone had asked me how I worked a diamond painting with squares from scratch because they were having problems getting the drills lined up. So I decided, I chose this one and um, decided to do this one with a pen. As I was working on it, I started to think about the tweezers and then I thought about if I did the eyes with the tweezers, would it look any different than the rest? So the pen that I used was this one, is a steel diamond painting pen, very different from the pens I would normally use. So I used this pen all the way through except for the eyes. For the eyes I used these custom tweezers with ceramic tips and these have definitely become my favourite tweezers. Again, I'll talk about that in a video when I'm talking about the pros and cons of both. I also have to say that I bought these. Um, I am not promoting any company. I bought them with my hard earned cash. So um, yeah, the bottom line for me is it, as far as the actual diamond painting is concerned when it's finished, it really doesn't make any difference if you're using tweezers or a pen. So that's it. Um, if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons, accessories, anything to do with diamond painting, please subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do that, you may catch me live on YouTube. You can drop in, see what I'm working on at that time and um, just have a bit of a chat. You can talk about diamond painting, especially if you're new or if you're just thinking about diamond painting, you maybe have questions, feel free. Um, I will do my best to answer them. Um, if you are a seasoned diamond painter, please drop in. I'm always interested in chatting to other diamond painters all around the world. I am in Denmark and um, 
I find it interesting talking to people, learning a bit about where they are in the world and just general chit chat, uh, nothing too serious. Um, just have a bit of fun, talk about diamond painting, talk about the weather, talk about the price of the cheese, whatever, anything. Um, the idea for me is just to get to know people a little bit better than just uh, comments in groups. Um, I think it's a lot more personal and it's quite nice to have a, a real-time conversation with other people. So if you're interested, as I said, please subscribe, hit the notification button. Um, you can also see what I'm up to on Instagram at Diamond Painting Gym. Um, I actually did the owl's eyes and time lapse and you can see them um, being done super fast. Um, they, they weren't actually done that quickly. But um, yeah, I fire up little videos when I'm prepping for my next kit. Um, you'll see what it is I'm working on before I start doing any YouTube stuff. So again, at Diamond Painting Gym if you're interested. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care, be safe, and wash your hands.